Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm John Schnepp and today we are going to be taking a look at the DC Universe, the untapped potential that exists on the silver screen and on television and live action. And we're going to talk about a lot of characters that have just not seen any kind of any kind of love so far yet. I'm going to use this portrait right here, which is basically a jam session made up comprised of a ton of different incredible artists monsters of their of their time back made in 1987 so this is before the obviously before the new 52 this is like after the big shakeup from crisis on infinite earths they made this kind of jam session poster but it's great because it's indicative of so many of dc's incredible characters and just we just have not seen anything done with them yet um, and it's high time so let's talk about some of these characters we've got obviously a lot of people know who rorschach is and he was from the Watchmen miniseries that Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons did. This is a Dave Gibbons piece drawn of Rorschach. But his original origin comes from this character all the way over here, known as The Question. Now, The Question is a Steve Ditko character from Charlton Comics, uh, made up in the 60s. And he's basically exactly kind of like Rorschach. He's everything in black and white. He plays a newsman and then and puts on a faceless uh, mask and avenges crimes that were, you know, were let go by the, the authorities. So he's a character that can very easily be a, an amazing addition to the DC universe, e either a TV series or a movie. Uh, it would be great. It could be done in a very Sin City, kind of like film noir style. He's a perfect character, and it can be done relatively cheaply compared to something like Batman or Superman. It's fantastic when you just take a look at all these different characters. You have the Spectre, you have Plastic Man, they're, they couldn't be more opposite, but yet you have two amazing characters. The Spectre would fit perfectly into a series like Constantine. I mean, he's from the, 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 the realm of the undead. He's a, an avenging force. And then you have here, we've got uh, the Doom Patrol, which would be an incredible series. It's basically an, an amazing combination of the Fantastic Four and X-Men, just waiting to be turned into an incredible DC Comics property. You also have over here Dead Man, an amazing story about a trapeze artist who's like gets murdered and comes back as a ghost to avenge his wife's death. You've got Metamorpho, this crazy mutant. He's kind of like a DC mutant. You've got Our Man. You've got Hawkman, somebody who has not been exploited yet. I mean, he was basically the only time he showed up was in a Smallville episode. Uh, you've got Power Girl. You've got Sergeant Rock, which Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to play him many years ago. There's so many different characters in here. I'd love to see. OMAC, One Man Army Corps, another Jack Kirby creation. A lot of people uh, know OMAC from the, uh, the OMAC uh, robots, but originally he was this guy, this crazy dude with, a, with a, an insane mohawk. I mean, the list is endless. You've got Captain Adam, you've got Mr. Miracle, and all these other characters from the Jack Kirby Fourth World series, The New Gods. That would be an incredible, uh, an incredible movie series right there, The New Gods. Unlimited amounts of cosmic sequels. Uh, that's just, we're just breaking in, just tapping at the tip of the iceberg of the DC characters. And this is from 1987. So there's so many more characters and derivations of those guys now. Here we are in 2015. I hope this uh, gives you a little hint uh, at some of the flavor that we should be expecting in the next 10, 15 years coming from DC and their television and movies all coming from these amazing comic books. I'm John Schnepp. Thanks for tuning in.